three more polka dots in different sizes. <laughs> They're polka dots. We finally got this solid green tie, and they had four of them. We found four of them. They were about that long. <laughs> <laughs> we had to tie them up to, to where the, the, the tail end was about that long. <laughs> Otherwise, yes. they'd come up to our belly, you know, yes. about halfway down our belly. Anyway, so we wore those ties with those suits while we were in Japan. But those were good suits. Mm -hmm. They were great suits. They were good suits. But oh boy. They really had lining inside of them. Trousers were lined, you know, they were fancy suits. And I tell you, they fit. Yes. They fit the day we, we had hopes of fitting when Mike Mazurka came back and picked his up. Yeah. They were him. Well, I yes. remember him very well. He was our hostess. No, not Mike Mazurki. He was oh. the, the wrestler. And his wife was oh. the biggest team oh. he was. Mike Mazurki. Yes. Yes. Uh, Jimmy Fukusaki was the yeah, guy you think it was Jimmy's Who? throughout. Jimmy Fukusaki. Fukusaki. Okay, don't call him back. Mike McGurkey was a professional wrestler or right, something, wasn't right. he? Uh -huh. And he did some he movies. He did movies. He did yeah. some yeah. movies. Mm -hmm. He did what? He did some movies, too. I don't know why he was over there, but he was over there. Well, he was doing a tour. Mm -hmm. okay. he, he was a week ahead of us. And only he, he was just doing a talking tour. He just going and shaking hands, you know, that kind of stuff. And the barbershop quartets were the only, so as far as I know, the only entertaining group that went into the hospitals and did what we did. Inside the hospital. Inside the hospital. You know, Bob Hope and those guys, they do the big yeah. theater shows. And they'd bring the troops into them. We sang, they, they never did do those. We sang one show. <laughs> and finally got down to the end of the aisle. There was a guy laying on his stomach and we were ended up sitting up in the air. And the guy, the guy was digging pieces of metal, oh, yeah. throwing them into a horse yeah. basin. Ping, ping. I tell you, that was, man. These guys, you know, here came these helicopters in, and these gurneys got strapped to them on, and you know, and then we walked into this ward, and these guys had just got off the helicopters yeah. and were, you know, and they were picking a strap on out. And they were hurting, and they were moaning, they were hurting, hurting too. Well, sure. You know? yeah. And, yeah. Sure. Remember what the first and, guy you know, was? Remember what, remember what the first guy we sang in front of? When we sang in front, the first guy, remember what he lost? Foot. Foot. And he woke up for the first time and saw that he'd lost his foot Aww. while we were singing. He had, he had been the court the quarterback for the University of Connecticut. Yep. I'll never mm -hmm. forget that. Mm -hmm. but I'm and, really I, and I and I and I dumb me. He just landed there. He looked pretty good. You know, I said, Well, you gonna go back to school and get out of here? And he put that stub out and showed me, oh God, Britain, what have you done? You know. But you know, we found out, it didn't take long to find out that that uh, they wanted to tell us what yes, the matter they was. Because the guy in the next bed didn't want yes. to listen to them. He yes. heard as bad as they did. You know, yeah. They didn't talk to each other, but we were fresh meat. So yeah. they, well, they would talk to us. They were yeah. just like magpies. But you found this guy again. About three days later. That was the end of that was the end of our tour in Tokyo. Big old broad shoulders. This guy yelled, hey, Pappy. <laughs> talk to him again. See, that was yeah. the, the end. That that was a, the end of our tour in Tokyo, and he was in the staging hospital. Mm -hmm. The first day was he just gotten in from from Nam, and now then he's in a cocoon. And we walked in the front door, and he was in a ward clear back to the back of that hall, and he saw us coming in. Hey, Pappy, it's me. <laughs> Bring him back here. <laughs> So he had us set up before we ever got there. But by that time then they're in they are literally in cocoons. They are they got those things rigged where they can't move and they strap them in the in the planes and bring them back to the United States. Yeah. That was quite yeah. an experience. Yeah. It wasn't the whole the whole thing was an experience. Yeah. Yeah. The day that we went to OG, that was the orthopedic hospital. To where? OG, OG hospital. I didn't know this at the time. The head surgeon there was a kid that used to babysit to my boys, oh, Bill Brainerd. 
and I tracked him down. He's out in in uh, Phoenix, Arizona now. He's retired. So I talked to him last time I was out there. Wow. Uh, but he was the head surgeon at that hospital when we were there, and I didn't know it. Oh. Very serious. But How we went to that hospital out? at 10 o'clock in the morning. How did you find out that he was there? Uh, you know, I don't remember now. Uh, some common acquaintance. Uh, wow. That's somehow we got to talking about uh, Bill Brainerd mm -hmm. and uh, I guess a doctor there in Newton told me that he had, had, had been the... Wow. We carried stuff with us, lasted one day. Wooden nickels from Don, Buffalo nickels, whatever they do. Do you think we could get picked up to get her out? They were going after one day, nothing left. Yeah. So you walked in at 10 a.m.? We didn't walk out of there until about 10.30 that night. Wow. Long day. And these kids were, what they'd gone through was just. We did, we did 30 warriors that day. <clears throat> So you know that was a that was a hard day. And we got on one set of words we were supposed to get into. Yes, that's oh, just what she was reminding me of. That. Oh yeah. yeah. Went into the mental ward. ward. Are you which, my father? Which hospital uh, was that that you were in when you got uh, in? I don't group? remember. It was a psych ward in, in one of the hospitals. Yeah. We were wearing gold shirts. We've got a picture. Yeah. There's a picture of us with one of the guys in that in that ward. Uh huh. Uh, oh boy, that was a, that was a tough one. Now the, you know, the they weren't supposed to be there. They were not supposed we to take us know. to the cycle no, ward. No, but somebody and screwed it, up, and it didn't take long for us to realize that we didn't want to be there. No, and you made it out. Yeah, I yes. think that's they didn't even keep them. They they dismissed us, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. the, like they, the, the, one, the one we went to on uh, Okinawa, we got into a ward. Of, Korean kids. They couldn't talk English and we couldn't talk Korean. And they were, you know, just bull faces and, and of course they'd been trained to kill, you know. Well in the in the afternoon we had done a uh, an auto, kind of an auditorium show there and here was these kids sitting on the front row. They didn't laugh at our jokes or nothing. Well then we got into this ward and we found out why, because they were Korean. We start singing in there, and, and here's this kid in this bed and his coat. Got anything else, Dan? Start keeping beat. So we zeroed in on him. We got through singing that song, and he he sang us a song. <laughs> Music is a universal language. And from then on, boy, we had a it turned into a pretty Great. good time. You know, cool. We were in there for 20, 30 minutes. Just some things he didn't laugh at. Hard, hard and hand they would match it. Yeah. But it was, uh, it, it's just, you know, man, it, it, well, we had some wonderful experiences. Remember the time that the guy showed up at the show in Wichita, Kansas, that had been on, in one of those hospital wards? Well, that's the one that walked out with us. Yeah. Pretty remarkable stuff. And we decided that that must be something that's used to process their data. So he kept walking through people staring at it. And he came out and there's a bunch of guys with their golf clubs Ooh. on break. Oh, that, yeah. Taken. Mm -hmm. And Jim was in the back of a bank. <laughs> and, like, choo, 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 choo. and they carried, they carry a bag of golf clubs with them, you know. That was a status symbol. Oh, and on lunch break, or any kind of break, they'd go whack This is your kind of place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> they just come to this. <laughs> but they, and when we were in this big department store, another story, Jay had to go to the bathroom. <coughs> and we didn't have any idea where the bathroom was in this humongous store. So Jay goes, here's a guy sitting on a bench just outside the elevator, and he goes over and he's kind of making conversation with him, and he, finally he went, <laughs> Oh, God, you go, 
don't have to watch the vlog. <laughs> Was he calling a policeman? Pointing to the. Well, let's put it on the other side of the store. And Benjo Wadoka Deska. <laughs> Benjo is the potty in over there. Benjo. He's the only guy that learned that one. <laughs> Damn right. I had to find When we were heading back there, we kept hearing this whoop, 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 whoop. And that's what it was a driving range back in the. And right behind it then was the, the restroom. So we go in there, and it is a community restroom. I mean, anybody has to go, goes in that restaurant. <laughs> Didn't have any stools in there. Now, in our hotel, we had stools because they revamped it for mm -hmm. Americans. But in this, the, the stool was a was a porcelain-shaped hole in the floor. I saw that in a picture. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. That was it. Yes. They did a lot of that, squatting over there. Drop your drawers and squat. <laughs> no joke. And for the men, here's a trough over here along the side of the wall. But everybody used it. Didn't make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese girls over there could not, first of all, couldn't understand why we were dressed like. And, the, and those, those Oxford, those <laughs> rust brown shoes were more negative. Yeah.